Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin and I post new videos every single Saturday with a few sprinkled in between. And I post mainly about eating disorder recovery and intuitive eating. And this week is one of your favorites. It's a what I eat in a week video. I honestly debated posting this video for a long time, mainly because my meals weren't balanced. A lot of them were just quick easy, lots of pleasure foods. And you know what? It was just, it was one of those weeks. If you watch my other What I Eat in a Week videos, you'll see that every week is so different. It depends whether or not I'm on my period, which I was this week, what my energy levels are like, what work is like, <laughs> what I have in the house, groceries. There's just so much that goes into it. Some weeks I'm so inspired to cook and I wanna try new recipes. And then other weeks I just can't be bothered, which was this week. I just could not be bothered to cook. At all. So yeah, this is what I eat in a week. Lots of pleasure foods, lots of fun foods, lots of fast foods, um, and that's okay. So welcome. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to stick around and click onto that subscribe button down below. You can also turn on the bell notification if you want to be notified every single time that I upload. Here's another what I eat in a week. Good morning. Today is Sunday and we are starting off this video with my favorite meal, in the entire world and if you've been here for a while you're gonna know what it is but we are starting with a delicious bagel really stacked with cream cheese salmon and onion and i'm also having a coffee with some cream two hours later hello it's a little bit later and i'm doing some prep for dinner and this week i'm just basically making a really big meat sauce i always make a really big portion and then i like to freeze some so then we can pull it out whenever we're hungry or whenever we need like a very fast quick dinner the meat sauce is super simple though you just need beef i'm not going to use all of this but some beef some mushrooms garlic peppers onions a bunch of seasonings that aren't here but some crushed tomatoes and some diced tomatoes, some tomato paste, and basically you throw it all in a pot, let it cook for five to six hours, and then it smells delicious. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it is all finished, you know? So I made a huge batch of the meat sauce and it looks absolutely delicious. So once this cooks down for a couple of hours, I'm going to freeze some portions and then I'll probably also have this for dinner tonight. Tonight is actually my weekly girls night too. We are going to watch another Twilight movie. We are on Breaking Dawn part one. So it's just like reliving that childhood angst, you know, team Edward all the way. But yeah, the sauce is going to cook for a little bit longer and I'll show you guys when I have something else to munch on a little bit later today. So I made some homemade banana bread because quarantine and everybody makes banana bread during quarantine but I'm just going to munch on some of this and read my book for a little bit, but this is going to be my snack for right now. This is the best banana bread recipe. I'll leave it in the description down below, but it's so moist, so delicious. I highly recommend it. So I'm having a late lunch slash early dinner. I'm just boiling some spaghetti right now for that spaghetti sauce that I made earlier. Just boiling her up. And then I also have some baguette here with homemade garlic butter that I'm going to put into the oven so I can have some pasta and some garlic bread. There's nothing wrong with having two carbs at the same time. So that is what is on the menu for tonight. Oof. Dang. Spaghetti with meat sauce is probably my favorite pasta dish out there or like a creamy seafood dish. That also sounds amazing. What is your favorite pasta dish? Let me know because I don't discriminate. I love every kind of pasta, so it would be nice to branch out and try something that you guys like as well. So for our movie night tonight, I just have some mini eggs and then two of these caramel sea salt chocolates from Costco. Mini eggs are my favorite candy ever. I also feel like having some Cheetos, so I'm going to bring those upstairs for the movie too. Good morning. I woke up so hungry, so I'm having some breakfast right away. I'm just starting my day off with a cup of coffee, and then over here I have a carrot muffin and a bunch of raspberries. And the carrot muffin is just a packaged one from the grocery store. I really like carrot um, or blueberry, but this morning I was feeling the carrot, so that's what we went with. But yeah, I'm gonna bring this upstairs and work for a little bit, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So work has been so busy today. I haven't even had time to breathe. 
So I whipped up a super, super quick lunch. I'll show you what it is. So I just have a ton of veg with some hummus. I love all sorts of hummus, but I just use the traditional hummus this time. And then I had some leftover baguette from the garlic bread. So I put some cream cheese, some salmon, and some onion. And I am going to devour this right now because I am so hungry. And yeah, I'm just going to eat this and finish up with my work for the day. If you have any super quick lunch recommendations, let me know in the comments because I'm pretty bored of most of my lunches that I make. And recently I don't really have a long time on my lunch break. So if you have anything super quick, super easy, then let me know in the comments. I'm just snacking on some banana bread. I'm being kind of bad and taking it straight from the middle because that's what I prefer, but that's what we're doing right now. I'm going to eat this and then I'm gonna do a quick workout. Mm. Hello friends, I just had a nice quick workout. I feel super good. I also did a five minute meditation, which I really enjoyed. I'll link it in the description. Take five minutes out of your day today to do something for you. One of the top comments that I always get on my videos is that I have a very calming voice. So if you're interested, maybe I'll make a little five or 10 minute meditation. If that's something that anybody's interested in, I'm personally loving getting into yoga and getting into meditation. So if you wanna see any sort of videos when it comes to either of those two topics, then let me know. Or if you have any video suggestions in general, I'm always very, very eager to hear you out and to add them to my never ending list of videos I need to do. But anyway, I am really hungry right now and I don't know if this is like a part one of dinner or if it's a snack, but this is what's on the menu right now. So I'm just gonna have some pineapple and also a piece of wheat toast that has peanut butter and Nutella on it. My meals this week, haven't been that balanced and that's okay. Some weeks are just like this, but you have to trust that your body is going to do what's best for you. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. So this morning I am going to start off with a cup of coffee and I think I'm also gonna have a blueberry muffin because that sounds really good. So I've got a blueberry muffin and that will be my breakfast or first part of my breakfast for this morning. I'm also still so obsessed with raspberries. I ate the whole package yesterday. So I'm also going to have some of this for breakfast too. Look at her go, look at her snow. Hello, so I'm snacking on some raspberries while I cook some lunch and today I'm just heating up some of that sauce that I made earlier this week and I'm also going to boil some macaroni noodles. I'm gonna mix the sauce with the macaroni and then I'm thinking about adding in mozzarella cheese so it's kind of like mac and cheese meets spaghetti and meat sauce. I think that it's gonna be really good. But yeah, that's everything that's on the menu right now. So I'm also gonna add some spinach to the sauce just so that I can get some more greens in. So I just added in the sauce and a bunch of cheese and now I'm going to attempt to mix it all up and we'll see what it looks like. So now there is a super cheesy and tomato-y consistency and that's kind of what I was going for. So I'm going to plate this up and have some of this for lunch. I got sauce all over my shirt, but really good. And there we go, a nice delicious bowl of carbs for lunch. That is totally okay. There's loads of BS fitness gurus out there and pseudoscience health experts who say that you should eat carbs at like a certain time throughout the day. But I just wanna let you know that that is total BS. Eat them whenever you crave them. Eat what feels good for you. And yeah, this is lunch. So for dinner tonight, we are going to have some chicken souvlakis. So Andrew is barbecuing this Greek chicken that was marinating earlier today. And I just have some naan bread here, the best tzatziki ever. And in my wrap, I like to put tomatoes, onion, and lettuce. So that is what's on the menu tonight. But yeah, we're just going to barbecue up this chicken and have a little Greek feast. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I am, 
I slept so well. I've been sleeping so well lately. Um, but I woke up this morning and I'm absolutely starving. I don't really want breakfast right now because it's still a little bit early, but I definitely want to kind of have like a snack before breakfast. So I'm just going to steal another piece of banana bread and go upstairs to work. So this week has been pretty lazy when it comes to meals and stuff like that, but sometimes you just need whatever is quick and easy. And sometimes I also just don't feel like making elaborate meals. And so I've been eating a lot of, you know, leftovers and stuff like that. So I have some leftover baguette. So I'm going to toast some of this up. I'm going to add my favorite, which is cream cheese. And then I'm also going to have an apple on the side because I usually like to have some sort of fruit in the morning. But yeah, that's it's gonna be breakfast part two for me this morning. And I am obsessed with apples lately. I really like the pink lady apples and the Fuji apples. I just find that they're the sweetest. Comment your favorite apple down below. My least favorite apple is probably the red delicious apple i just find the skin is so freaking tough or the granny smith because she's sour i like a sweet a sweet gal and this is breakfast for this morning it's the middle of january right now so i know that there's still a lot of diet culture and a lot of diet talk going around on the internet so i just want to be the person to remind you that you deserve to eat, you deserve to enjoy the food that you eat, and we should provide for our bodies and not deprive them. On that note, I'm gonna enjoy my delicious breakfast and I'll talk to you guys later. So this is one of my newest obsessions. I love these fig bars, so I'm going to have one of these as a mid-morning snack. I don't know what it is today, but I'm still super hungry, so I'm gonna have just the rest of the baguette with some butter. So tonight I'm actually doing a virtual art night with my girlfriend, so I'm really excited. It's been a really long time since I've painted. I'm not particularly good, I just do it for fun. And I think that art is for anybody and everybody, so I'm really excited to paint something happy. I'm just going for happy feelings. I'll show you the final product when everything is all done, either later tonight or tomorrow morning. And for dinner, surprise, surprise, I can't be bothered to cook. I'm just in a rut this week and that's okay. I think I'm actually just gonna have some cereal, one of my favorite cereals ever so honey nut cheerios with some soy milk it's gonna be good but i think that that's what's gonna be on the menu for tonight this is my favorite milk to have with cereal or to make matcha lattes or hot chocolate or anything like that out of all of the plant milks that i've tried before i definitely love the soy milk the best and the best cereal of course even though it's a wednesday i think i'm gonna make a little cocktail just to have over my zoom call so i'm going to show you what my favorite cocktail is i've made it on this channel before but it just never gets old ice some gin i'm just going to use what's left in here i don't know it's like two or three ounces it's a little bit more than i had anticipated but it's a wednesday orange juice and for some sweetness and to make it super pretty some grenadine give her a good mix and that's how you make this cocktail. I don't know if there's a specific name for it, but I really enjoy it. I made it really strong. That's okay. Good morning. It's another day of me being kind of lazy. I just, this week has been so strange, not a lot of cooking, a lot of quick stuff, but that's how it is sometimes. I'm gonna make some oatmeal using some soy milk and I'm gonna put some dark brown sugar on top. But yeah, that's, that's what's on the menu today. Sometimes you just need something super fast and filling and low effort. I don't know what it is. I've been so uninspired this week, so I think I'm going to look up some new recipes um, later this week before I go grocery shopping just so I'm a little bit more inspired for my next what I eat in a week because I guess this is pretty realistic, but um, I like trying new recipes. So I shoot um, If you have any recipes that you'd like me to try then just let me know in the comments down below I'm always eager to try recipes that you guys really enjoy. But anyway, just just some good old oatmeal for breakfast this morning I'm also snacking on a small piece of banana bread 
while the oatmeal cooks. So Andrew brought home a late lunch slash early dinner. So I have two hot dogs and then some onion rings, but that is what's on the menu for right now. And that concludes this what I eat in a week video. If you like videos like this, or if you want to learn more about intuitive eating or have somebody to chat with when it comes to eating disorder recovery or anything like that, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.